this is lesson 1 1 points and lines as locations in chapter 1 of this geometry course we are going to be looking at points and lines as they are defined in four different types of geometry in the first lesson we're going to define them in Euclidean synthetic geometry here a point is known as an exact location it has no size or shape and a line in synthetic geometry is a set of points extending in both directions containing the shortest path between any two points on it. As you see here on the picture, you see a number line. You have been studying number lines since elementary school. When you see a number line, you often have points on the number line, and those points are corresponding to different numbers. We call these points coordinates and the number line actually is a coordinatized line. To find the distance between two points on a coordinatized line, we're going to use absolute value. The absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. In symbols, the distance between two points with coordinates A and B is noted with the bars and A minus B in the middle. Remembering back to last year or the year before, you studied absolute value, and we often think about that as a point's distance from zero on the number line. So if you think about the absolute value of 3, it's 3 places from 0, so that means the absolute value is 3. The absolute value of a negative 3 is also 3 places from 0, so the absolute value of a negative 3 is also 3. Same thing with negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. We can also think of that in an algebraic relationship that you also studied last year or the year before and we can show the relationship between absolute values and square roots as the same. For all values of x, the absolute value of x is equal to the square root of x squared. So the absolute value of a minus b is also the same as the square root of the square of a minus b. When studying distance on a number line, you will often see two points placed together in the notation. So if I wanted to find the distance between a and B, you would see them noted as AB. So when A and B are points, AB always means the distance from A to B, not their products. You cannot multiply points. So let's take a look here at this guided example. I'd like you to find the distance between 3 and negative 2. So that's the distance from A to B. We will take the absolute value of a minus b. So that would be 3 minus a negative 2. The absolute value of 3 minus a negative 2 is 5 because 3 minus a negative 2 is 5 and the absolute value of 5 is 5. As shown above, we can also look at it as the square root of a minus b squared. So the square root of 3 minus a negative 2 squared would be the square root of 5 squared which is 5. So note down here below, for any two points A and B, AB is also the same as BA. To show you a quick example of how AB is the same as BA, I will take a look and switch the A and the B coordinates as from above. So negative 2 minus a 3 is the same as negative 5. The absolute value of a negative 5 is 5. Both distances AB and BA equals 5. Let's try some more examples. You will see a number line here with points H, J, and K. I want you to find the dif distances using the number line above for A, B, C, and D. I will do A with you. The distance H, J would be found by doing the absolute value of negative 30 minus 20, which is the same as the absolute value of a negative 50. The absolute value of a negative 50 is 50. So the distance between H and J is 50. Please stop your video now and try examples B, C, and D. Please check your answers for parts B, C, and D. Now I'd like you to do the last two problems. I would like you to find the distance between the given points on a number line. Stop the video when you're finished. Start the video again and check your answers.
Here are the answers to the last two problems, and this concludes video 1-1, points and lines as locations.